Alright, in this video we're going to do more trigonometric integrals. Um, again, kind of the uh, cookie cutter cases here, but they are important. Um, so in this case you have products of tangent and secant. Um, in this case they're going to be positive integers, but we're going to make the restriction also that m is a, uh, an even integer, an even positive integer, even whole number. Um, the idea here, you're going to save a secant squared factor of x in this case. We'll use secant squared as 1 plus tangent squared, and then simply the u substitution of tangent x. So again, you're just using trig identities and u substitution. Okay, so in this case, we've got tangent squared times secant squared. All right, well, let's do what we just said we're going to do. Um, we'll bust up our secant, um, our secant to the fourth as secant squared times secant squared. Okay, and then we're going to use our trig identity. Um, so again, we're going to use our trig identity that secant squared is 1 plus tangent squared. Okay, so here's our trig identity, 1 plus tangent squared of x. Again, we still have our other secant squared hanging out. Okay, so again, there's our trig identity. And again, now we just let do a u substitution. We let u equal tangent of x. That's the whole point of keeping the secant squared, because now the derivative will simply be secant squared of x dx. And our substitution will work out kind of nice and cleanly. So tangent squared that's u, so we'll get u squared. 1 plus, if we re replace tangent of x with u, we'll get, again, a u squared. Secant squared x dx is getting replaced with our du. Again, I assume if you uh, are watching this, you've probably seen a little bit of u substitution, so I'm going through it here a touch faster. Um, if you distribute, you'll get u squared plus u to the fourth du. Um, if you do the trick where you add 1 and divide, we'll get u to the 3rd over 3, plus u to the 5th over 5, plus c. <coughs> and again, now just replace your u substitution. Um, again, you started with x's, finish it off with x's. So we'll simply get um, tangent to the 3rd of x over 3, plus tangent to the 5th of x over 5, plus c. Okay, is our answer. So again, nothing uh, I think real deep or hopefully real real complicated. It's just obviously just more stuff to, to memorize, right? But um, that's with anything. Um, okay, so maybe one more here real quick. Suppose it was just um, secant to the fourth. Okay, well, I guess this one maybe doesn't exactly fit the mold in the sense that it's not um, a power of secant times a power of tangent, but it is an even power of secant, so maybe let's just do what we did before and see what happens. So there's my secant squared. I'm going to save my other secant squared. Well, again, we can use this trig identity for secant squared, that secant squared is 1 plus tangent squared. Where is it at? There it is down there at the bottom. So I'm going to replace this with 1 plus tangent squared. I've got my other original secant squared hanging out there, just chilling out. Um, whoops. Um, at this point, distribute out your secant squared. So we'll have secant squared of x plus, um, I guess we could just leave it, tangent squared times secant squared. And if you think about it, um, well, you should know an antiderivative of secant squared. Um, I believe that's just tangent. And you could do a u substitution on the second part. You could let u equal tangent. So why don't we bust up our integral, in fact, and make it um, basically do them individually. So we know an antiderivative of secant squared is just tangent of x. Well, again, for the next part, you're just doing a u substitution. You're letting u equal tangent of x. du would be secant squared of x. 
dx. So if you plug that in, you're just integrating u squared du. And this will simply give you tangent of x. If you integrate, you'll get u to the third over 3. But again, we know what u is. It's tangent of x. So we can go ahead and plug that back in, all to the third plus c. So okay, so it didn't exactly fit the bill originally, our secant to the fourth, because there was no tangent. But the same trick we did um, originally still works in this problem. So again, pretty cookie cutter. Um, it's just another technique to remember. But if you do, um, if they're set up nicely, they'll work out nicely as well. So one more case um, where the power of tangent is odd, and then uh, just kind of some random ones.